Hey, how's it going, guys? Cam Zeta Wade here, bringing you guys some domination on the map Strike Zone. And it'll go in 69 and 32 on this gameplay. And as always, as always, I'll be having a still image for my guns for you guys. So, as you guys can see as well, um, this is the first Call of Duty Ghost gameplay that I'll be uploading to my channel at the moment. I have a bunch more, but I wanted to play the game for a few days until I end up making some videos for you guys. So, um, as you can see here, I'll be using the MSBS Assault Rifle. At the moment, it is my favorite assault rifle. Um, I'll be using the muzzle brake and the foregrip for this gun. Um, my secondary, I'll be using the M9A1 pistol, lethal tactic, I got my grenade, my concussion. I have four perks, um, ready up, sleight of hand, quick draw, and focus, and I have my assault, uh, package. Assault strike package, um, basically just a SATCOM, the guard dog, and the maniac. Um, I didn't end up getting my maniac, but uh, all in all, I ended up getting 60 something kills, and I'm fine with that. This was actually the first, on this particular map, this was the first time playing uh, Domination on here. Um, prior before this, I only played it on TDM, so I really didn't know um, that you could actually get a chem strike in a briefcase. So, if you guys don't know this, um, when you do play um, multiplayer, there are a lot of side missions, I guess you could say. Um, you kill somebody and they end up dropping a blue briefcase, um, say like, excuse me, <laughs> say like it drop. so you kill the guy, uh, a blue briefcase comes out and there's like a side mission on there, get, get a kill while prone, so th there'll be stuff like that, um, get a kill while prone, get a kill, or get two kills while crouched, or get a melee attack or humiliation on the next person you kill, um, and then you get a bonus. It's basically a reward. It'll give you a, a care package. And my teammate, our friend, ended up getting the chem strike. And I'm all like, you're going to see the game panel. Like, I'm freezing. I'm like, what is going on? Uh, what is that? Is that the nuke? Oh, crap. Wow. Um, so, yeah. I was, like, just tripping out. Um, so, <laughs> like I said, this, that's pretty much proof that this was the first time of me playing this game. Um, I'm, like, just freezing in the corner I'm like um what is that and then my boyfriend says a cam strike I'm like what cam strike cam like cams I'm like yeah cam strike I'm like really what what did you say <laughs> and he kept, he kept saying um the chem strike gets the nuke I'm like oh okay I see I get it wow interesting how'd you get it uh and he got it from the care um from the briefcase and he did the mission for that so um yeah first time ever playing it and actually first time experiencing the chem strike on this gameplay pretty interesting all in all but i mean you can still you can still get the chem strike um getting 25 kills but on this particular map you can get it on the briefcase see if <laughs> so you're here i'm all like asking we're in we're in we're in um, our party and i'm like what is that <laughs> trying to ask and i end up getting killed and i'm like yeah oh, shit whatever <laughs> But, very interesting, I actually like to play the map um, all beaten up like this. So yeah, when, when you do end up getting the chem strike, I'm not sure if it's like this for all of the other maps. That the map actually changes and it gets all blown up and shit. Um, but, I do actually like playing the map um, all busted up like this better than how it actually is for some odd reason. I don't know why. Uh, I seem to do better. Um, end up getting I ended up getting 69 kills but after a while we ended up playing this game or this map again and uh, somebody kept getting somebody else got the chem strike and every time we played this map for domination so far um, one person always gets the chem strike so in the briefcase um, so after a while um, I ended up playing this game or this map I really do like it better when it's all blown up and stuff like that but um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop talking too much about this particular gameplay. Um, this is the only gameplay, and the first gameplay I actually get, I got like a pretty high kill death on here. Um, that's the highest I've reached. My streak is like only 15 at the moment. I have not yet gotten the chem strike as a 25 kill streak. Um, uh, so yeah, um, I've also gotten it from the briefcase on this map though after a while. Um, but like I said, this was the first game, or the first time playing on this particular map, uh, experiencing the nuke. So, but um, there are two other maps that you can get 
uh, stuff in a briefcase that is kind of like this. There's one on Sovereign. Uh, it's called Sabotage. There's a bunch of smoke that comes out, basically, and then at first uh, I I feel all cool and like, oh yeah, it got something in the briefcase. I wonder what this is. This is a nuke, and then I hear bah, 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 and then all the smoke just comes out really slowly. And I'm like, that's it, really? That's the best you guys could have done. I mean, what does it do? Does it even kill the enemy team, or it just fucking fogs everybody up? <laughs> so, um. Yeah, on Sovereign, the smoke just comes up, and I guess you get some points or whatnot, but um, I think it would have been a bit more cooler if the team that ended up getting the freaking gas, um, Sabotage, would have gas masks, so we would be able to actually see through the smoke or something, and the enemy team would be in clouds, but except for us, like, would we'd be able to see through the smoke or whatnot, but, eh. I really didn't think it was kind of interesting and whatnot with that, so yeah. But um, another map I ended up getting, uh, like I said, this is the first time playing this game, right? Or this map now, but oh, gosh, my chair is making me uncomfortable. But later on, so I ended up getting it in the briefcase. So I got three so far, um, interesting ones. I got the, I got this one. I got the. A uh, sovereign one, and I got the whiteout one, the snow map. <clears throat> so the snow map one, I thought like, I thought it was, I literally thought it was like a bomb uh, landing, and then we we're all gonna blow up or something. But sadly, it wasn't. It was just a UAV jammer. Basically, it's just a mini map jammer. So um, I got it in the briefcase, and this giant thing just falls out of the sky and just lands. And then, um, what do you call? That was it. It just jammed the fucking mini map for like a bit, and I'm like, okay, that was kind of boring. <laughs> and and actually, you know, now that I think about it, I did end up getting another one. It was on. Uh, I damn it, I forget what the fuck map it's called. Walk zone. Um, Wolverine. <laughs> Wolverine. I know it starts with a W. Uh, I can't remember the map at the moment, but it's kind of like an LZ-shaped fucking map. Um, it's boxy, but, uh, it's a Z-shaped map. Uh, the format on, like, Domination or whatnot. But I think I got, like, some kind of airstrike on there, and I, like, I actually like that one. Um, uh, got it in the briefcase, and then it had the siren sounds, and then bombs started to freaking come out of the sky, and get all the enemy team, kill the people. So I'm like, okay, that's actually a lot more interesting and cooler than all the smoke and fucking UV jammer. It's kind of crappy, but I still think it's interesting that they actually put that in there. But yeah, um, all in all though, about Call of Duty Ghost, I'm really disappointed in it though. I'm really not too fond of it at all. <laughs> um, they say, it's supposed to be dedicated servers. I call bullshit, and I really, honestly, have not experienced any dedicated servers really much. Um, I mean, I played the games, but for it to be dedicated servers, everybody needs to play equally. Um, shots should be hit detection should be right on dot for everybody in the game, and I don't see that. I really don't. Um, there's still a lot of broken camera stuff that goes on where I'm shooting or I'm running around a corner and the guy's not shooting but um, I end up dying from bullets that I don't see but and I end up watching the kill cam and then he's shooting me around the corner when in real time in my screen he wasn't really doing that so there's a lot of there's still a lot of ups and downs on this game, but there are, to me, there are a lot more bad things about this game rather than good. I really don't like much of the things on here. I think the kill streaks are crappy. I think the spawning are really, really bad. I think the maps are too fucking huge, except for this one and like a few others, but the, a lot of the maps are like fucking huge. Huge, huge, huge. And the placements on the maps is like, you capture it and you kill somebody on it. And you start to run away from not even that far. By the time um, you kill somebody, you run like maybe, what, like fucking 10, uh, 20 feet away from the flag. And then it's already being captured because you kill the guy. The guy actually spawns close by to you and also jumps on the flag. And by the time you're running back, they already captured the flag. 
So, <laughs> it's like, are you fucking serious? I just killed you, um, and you're back on the flag, and you just captured it by yourself that quickly. Um, so, yeah, the, the fucking health in here is really low. The capture time for domination is really low, or really fast, I mean, and um your reaction time your health is like it's crazy because at first when we first played it we're like we're excited we're playing it and then we're like what the fuck is this like th like seriously that is basically how we all were how what our reactions were i mean like really the guy just killed me are, are you serious the capture time is that quick and even on it's kind of like search and destroy but not really it's actually like kill confirm mixed with search and destroy this is this other gameplay where we started to play um diffuse time is three fucking seconds three seconds compared to um normal uh even competitive uh diffusion of the bomb as you fucking plan it it's like three seconds you diffuse it, it's three seconds. I'm like, are you fucking serious? That sucks. <laughs> and the count, the countdown for the bomb is like, what, 30 something seconds? I believe, I think, I'm not quite sure, but it's pretty high. It's like 30 something seconds, and then it only takes three seconds to fucking diffuse. It's like, oh, okay. Very, very interesting. So as you guys can tell in the, the tone of my voice, kind of irritable and venti-ish not really fond of this game much i'm really not um but then again it is cod and we all get mad we all rage about it we all bash on it and we're all disappointed on a lot of things with cod but it's a cod we are still gonna fucking play it no matter what um because it's a new game and whatnot so yeah but i i really honestly think um the maps, I've heard rumors from other people that the maps are like really really big like that because it actually is meant for ground war and it's for more people to actually play on it. And I heard rumors that um, only Xbox One players will be able to play ground war. And the, the fucking, the, the playlist on here is like so tiny, like the, the regular playlist is like what TDM, Cranked, Blitz, Search and Rescue, Infected, Kill Confirmed, Domination, Hunted, Free For All, Team Tactical. And then you have Hardcore List, 3. TDM, Kill Confirmed, and Search and Rescue. Are you serious? Clan versus Clan, we can't even fucking play that. And, I mean, I'm surprised we don't have any gun game or anything like that. Like, there's there's a lot of things missing. The kill streaks are, like, really, really crappy not interesting to me at all i really don't think it's really fun like they suck they're like simple but for a new game it's not supposed to be simple <laughs> it's supposed to be interesting something new something badass something fun you can't really even actually control an ac-130 or a fucking reaper or anything like that compared to MW3 to Black Ops 2, you can't really can't control much things on here, and it, the kill streaks suck. I'm sorry, but it's not enough to pour out all of my feelings to you guys right now at the moment. So um, this gameplay is to an end. Uh, hopefully, you guys liked it. It's kind of all over the place because it's made basically my first video, but. I guess you could say it's kind of like my first impressions. I'll just say it's really not not to my liking i'm really disappointed in it um but i am still going to be playing it because it's a cop so um hopefully you guys like this gameplay uh also so catch you guys next time on the next video uh, i have a bunch for you guys so rate comment subscribe shooties i'll catch you guys next time